Yo, what up everybody? I'm Akeem Lewanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, does this picture confirm Venom's appearance in No Way Home? Dune director slams Marvel movies and a chess player is suing Netflix. Let's drop it. There's nothing fans would like to see more than Tom Hardy's Venom oozing his way into the MCU. And there's a new picture floating around on the internet that has a lot of fans speculating Hardy just might be finally making his leap. Film director Lynn Oding shared this now deleted photo of him and Hardy on his Instagram account, presumably removing it after fans began speculating of Hardy's involvement in No Way Home simply based on the hat he's wearing. Now the full image was shared by the Twitter account Marvel Updates. Now first captured by the Twitter account Spider-Man Brazil, they were quick to screen grab the image and point out that the very hat Hardy is pictured wearing is a Spider-Man No Way Home production cap given to the cast and crew. Now there's many reasons why Tom Hardy he could have had that hat that doesn't include Venom joining the multiverse shenanigans in No Way Home. Like he's friends with the cast and crew and they gifted the hat to him, or maybe they thought it'd be a, you know, a nice little troll for fans to have him wearing the hat in the image. I mean, you know, if we're going by that particular logic, you know, him wearing a cap from an upcoming movie, he's also wearing a Cobra Kai t-shirt next to a guy that directed a couple of episodes from that series. What, does that mean he's gonna be joining the next season of Cobra Kai? Who knows? It's possible he's an actor, yeah. Not that I'm counting out the possibility of Venom appearing in the upcoming Spider-Man film, nor should you, as the movie will undoubtedly contain many villains from across the Spider-Man films that have been made over the years. Now, we interviewed Venom director Andy Serkis, who said that a Venom Spider-Man meet will happen eventually. Now, we'll have to wait and see if it happens in Spider-Man No Way Home when the flick hits theaters December 17th. Now, in other news, it seems Dune director Denis Villeneuve isn't a big fan of the Marvel movies. Now, speaking with the Spanish newspaper, El Mundo, he was asked a question about movie budgets, which somehow led to a conversation on Martin Scorsese's comments on Marvel films. Now, Villeneuve said, quote, perhaps the problem is there are too many Marvel films that are nothing more than a cut and paste of others. Maybe these types of movies have turned us a little bit into zombies. I'm not a zombie. I don't like to eat brains. Now, Villanova's copy-paste comment received some criticism online, of course, notably from Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson. Now, Derrickson took to Twitter and said, quote, as a director, I don't slag on the work of other directors, even when I don't like something they've made. This job is hard enough for all of us, and nobody ever sets out to make a bad movie. Now, I definitely agree with Derrickson on this one. I personally have never looked at a single Marvel movie and thought it was a copy-paste job of another one. Maybe Villeneuve thinks superhero movies are a bit formulaic to a certain degree now that we've been inundated with so many over the years. I don't know, but curious to know where you fall on this particular debate. Comment down below and let's discuss. And finally, chess grandmaster Nona Gapinasvelli is suing Netflix for a single line used in their show, Queen's Gambit. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, she's seeking $5 million in damages with more impunitive damages, as well as a demand for the episode to be altered to remove the dialogue. The line in question claims she never faced men in a chess match. Now, Gapper Nasvelli claims she faced off against 59 males competitively by the time the episode takes place in 1968. Now, 10 of those were reportedly grandmasters. Now, the New York Times even pointed out an article they wrote back in 1968 with the headline, Chess Miss Gapper Nasvelli Beats seven men in a strong tourney. Now, Netflix responded to the lawsuit by praising Gapper Nasvelli, but stating her lawsuit has no merit. Now, we'll see who wins this case of 4D chess in court. And that about does it for your entertainment fix for today. It's Friday, baby. Yeah, I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out this video of us talking to the director of Venom and the potential of him meeting Spider-Man in the MCU. Venom I, and Spider-Man. I can't wait. It's going to be sick. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Y'all already know what to do. And for all things everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.